Hello, everyone. Welcome to Choco Travel Channel. Hyatt Regency Waikiki Resort is one of the largest resorts in the Waikiki area, with 1,230 guest rooms and 40 floors. It's in the center of the Waikiki area. The massive two-tower Hyatt Regency Resort has a prime location on Kalakaua Avenue by the beach and the famous Duke Kahanamoku statue. Even though it's across the street, the beach is super accessible. The resort was built in 1976 and was most recently renovated in 2015. The parking lot and ballroom are in the smaller building across the street. The resort consists of two colossal towers with an open-air atrium between the two towers. The entrance is at the Diamond Head Tower, which is on the south side. There are quite a lot of shops and restaurants in this huge open-air atrium. As it's huge, the resort provides touchscreen maps on both entrances. The reception desk is on the second floor. You will need to take the escalator to get there. It's quite a long way for check-in. The resort provides those blue step signs along the walk so that you won't get lost. The reception desk looks quite old-fashioned. There is a dedicated line for hired members. I booked the most basic room. With my global list status, I got upgraded to an ocean view room. It seems to me there is quite a limited number of suites. I tried to use my suite upgrade certificate two months ago and was told there were no availabilities. The receptionist provided us with an activity sheet and a few of them were included in the result fee. This is a Category 5 hotel, so it would cost around 20k points per night. For cash booking, it usually costs around $300, but it would also charge around $45 for the resort fee. There is a deal from Founders Card where the nightly fee is reduced to $200 per night with the resort fee waived. That's what I ended up booking the room, and it's really a great deal. I had a previous video introducing the Founders Card. You can click the link on the top right to learn how you can also take advantage of such great deals. There are a total of 4 elevators in each tower. As there are so many floors, sometimes we do need to wait for a bit. As the tower is in an octagon shape and all the rooms are on the outer side, the hallway is also designed in an interesting way. There were multiple ways to get to your room. Our room was on the 11th floor. Aloha! I'm in Honolulu. I'm staying at Hyatt Regency Waikiki Beach this weekend. Let's check out the room. This time, we got a king bed motion front room. Let's take a look. The 500 square foot room was very spacious. The decoration of the room looked a bit dated, but perfectly functional. Here are two water bottles, and uh, it comes with a map listing out all these islands. And it has Niaho, that's the tiniest island. And I heard interesting stories about hey, there are no electricity or plumbing, it's pure nature. Maybe one day I'll go take a look. There's a helicopter too, I heard. Cool, gonna bring it home. It There's a mini fridge. Okay. Empty. Safe. The room was last remodeled in 2015. It looked to me that the last remodel was just done lightly, not like the recent complete revamp of the Hyatt Regency Maui.
If you prefer a newer room with higher-end decoration, the Hyatt-centric Waikiki Beach might be a better choice. However, this time I would just prefer this Hyatt Regency due to its unbeatable view and location. From our rooms in Lanai, we had a great view of the beach and all beachfront activities along South Waikiki Beach. This site is less busier than the north side, but you will be able to enjoy a longer coastline without any obstacles. Centered around the Duke Paoa Kahanamoku statue, this is probably the most iconic section of Waikiki Beach. So there are always a lot of people around. Every day, we saw a large number of surfers on the water just off Waikiki Beach throughout daytime. While I was not on the beach or visiting any attractions, I would always sit on the balcony and enjoy this spectacular view. One thing to note, though, is there were quite some street noises as Kalakaua Avenue was a busy street. The single vanity made lots of space, plenty for two people. There was a separate bathroom with a toilet and tub. The tub and shower were clean and had a good water pressure. I was surprised to see the bidet with a heated toilet seat. It was not that common for U.S. hotels. This Hyatt Regency Resort actually had lots of Japanese elements, and this was one of them. One of the perks as Hyatt Globalist is the free breakfast. As this resort has a Regency Club, the free breakfast is also served here on the third floor. The Regency Club will be open all day and also serves snacks and desserts during other time ranges. Outside of the Regency Club is a Shaw restaurant, the resort's main restaurant. It serves a buffet breakfast in the morning. There's a small front desk inside the Regency Club, but it was never stuffed during our visit. The Regency Club has both indoor and outdoor seating areas. The buffet breakfast here was nothing fancy, but adequate. You can find bakery, fruits, miso soup, and traditional scrambled eggs and bacon with some variances on different days. It was very similar to the Regency Club in Hyatt Regency Maui. It also provided water, juice, and coffee machines. The food here was definitely worse than the breakfast you normally would get from high-end hotel restaurants. But you would get unlimited access to the free soft drinks, and during different times of the day, you could also get snacks or desserts. One thing to note is that the wine and beer served during the night was not complimentary. The outdoor seating areas were where we had most of our breakfast. It was a great spot to eat while enjoying the view of Waikiki Beach. Continue to walk on the third floor. It's an ABC store. There were surprisingly three ABC stores in the resort. The other two are on the first floor. In the middle between the two towers is an open space, which could be a good place for weddings or hosting events. During our stay, we saw a lovely couple getting married here. Soon you will arrive at the pool area. The pool is pretty small. 
is nothing spectacular, especially compared to the Hyatt properties on other Hawaiian islands like Hyatt Regency Maui. However, when you are just steps away from the Waikiki Beach, the pool probably doesn't matter to you. When upside, there were plenty of chairs and umbrellas surrounding the pool area, as well as food and drink services available. There was also a hot tub adjacent to the pool. Another highlight here is that you can borrow towels and beach chairs to use on the beach for free. It's already included in the resort fee. I really enjoyed lying in the chair and just watching the Waikiki beach. It was super relaxing. The best part of the higher register resort is its location. It's super close to the Waikiki beach. During my visit, I went to the beach every day, sometimes with my floating unicorn or sometimes with a beach chair. The Hyatt is right across the street from the most famous part of Waikiki Beach. Across Kalakaua Avenue, you are right at the Duke Paoa Kahanamoku statue and the Stones of Life. From our room to the beach, it only took me about 5 minutes walk. There were quite a lot of waves here, which made it a heaven for surfers. I didn't surf, but I enjoyed floating over the water. Let's walk through some other amenities of the resort. On the third floor near the pool was a Nahula Spa. Next to it was a large and well-equipped gym. This definitely beats Hyatt Centric Waikiki, which doesn't have a gym. For Hyatt Centric guests, they would have to walk over here to use the gym. Walking further towards the Ewa Tower was a small activity area. The swim pool bar was a restaurant from the resort. It was also connected to the pool. Here is a private lounge. Not sure what it's exactly about as the descriptions are mostly in Japanese. On the first floor is a huge open air atrium featuring over 60 shops, boutiques, and restaurants. Overall, we enjoyed our stay at the Hyatt Regency Waikiki Resort. The room was okay, but the view and location made it a great option for the Waikiki stay. Thanks for watching this video. What's your favorite resort on Waikiki? Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel to follow my travel journey and tips. See you next time!